What are you barking at? <coughs> Sounds like it's just starting to rain. <coughs> Tell me about it, Marvin. She's all, she's all upset. I'm all upset. So where do I begin? Okay. Um, where do I begin? It's uh, okay. Um, good. Hi all. Well, this is the afternoon. It's the date is the fourth of November. Um, it's the last night before lockdown, and I'm in a car park at Foss's Meadow in Broughton Astley and um, I'm almost in tears because as I was walking around my phone did an update and it said that there wasn't enough external internal uh, memory so it asked me to free up some space so I looked through and um, it came up with large files so I just clicked yes and um, it's deleted every single video I had over 10 seconds long. So I've lost, all, I've lost a lot of my footage from last night's pub. I've lost the food. I've lost the drink. I can't even make anything up. I've lost all the footage from my walk. Um, so I'm absolutely, absolutely gutted. Um... Now, just to try and bring you up to date, I got to the pub that I was supposed to film at called The White Heart. And I parked up, I introduced myself, I went into the pub, they showed me exactly where I was going to be filming. Um, they We arranged what I was going to do and everything. And then... Um, as I, I, I set up in the evening, got the, got my tripod stand, everything, all the camera footage and stuff all sorted. And then I asked them to sign to state that I have permission to film. And they said, oh, we, we need to speak to our solicitors about this. And I said, well, this is to cover me, to give me permission to film. And he says, well, we need it to cover us as well. And I'm like, well, you knew this four months ago. Uh, when I arranged and, and spoke with you and kept everything up to date with you and um, so I didn't I couldn't film there so Marvin and I went for a walk I came across another pub called The Bull and I asked to speak to the landlord there his name's James and I told him what had happened and he said yes no problem do you want a hookup and I said yes uh, that would be amazing because I think I've got a gas leak and so he actually came out and got a tool kit started fixing uh tightening up all the um all the joints of the pipes and everything with a with an adjustable spanner adjustable wrench sorry and um you know the guy was just so cool and then I went in and because he was away he was with his kids and um uh, I went into the pub and all the pub members were so friendly and the food was just incredible I had the signature bull burger which was phenomenal and <laughs> everything is gone <laughs> gone the worst thing is is that because of the issue that i had last time i had put my uh ex my uh cloud storage on but um she's looking at all the other dogs but um um it didn't it doesn't click over 4g <laughs> so um I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm, I've just tried to do it with my laptop. My laptop's just not working correctly. And um, I might, I don't, I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to be able to find any of these files, recover any of these files. And I just feel that um, I'm just absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. I've just been on the phone to James. I've told him exactly what's happened. And he said that we can do it again. Uh, after lockdown but I am I am literally I'm just mortified I just really don't know <sighs> because it was such a wonderful thing because of the pure randomness of it and the fact that this guy was just so lovely um, I've lost all my diaries as well I've lost all my diaries um, and I'm just absolutely gutted I really am uh, but obviously you learn from your mistakes and I certainly won't be doing that again. I really, really won't. Um... <sighs> okay, so I've got to, I've got to just be strong about it. Get over to my last pub and, and um, just make the most 
out of tonight and and um learn from my mistakes learn from my mistakes it's just absolutely gutted absolutely mortified <sighs> hey ho oh god why 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 are you trying to test me god i just don't understand good morning all this is a bit bright let me go like this Good morning. Um, it is first day of lockdown. First day of lockdown. Day 29, I think, for me. The date is the 5th of November. I've had a wonderful evening last night. I've got a little bit of a sore head from trying various different beverages last night. Um, the pub was so kind enough to order me a an Indian, so I was still able to have something to eat, which was brilliant. Entertainment was fantastic. Um, do you know what I love about this place? Is it This is a perfect example of what community pub really means. Um, you know, they've even made like a book uh, from the last lockdown of what the people in the village should have been doing. Like... Um, you know, going to football games and going on holiday and things. And it's just about the local area and the people in it. So I think that's just so wonderful. Um, yeah, now we're just about to go out for a walk, uh, go around and look at the shops and because it's got an infamous antique shop. shop. And yes, she's moaning. She wants to go. Um, an infamous, infamous shoe shop and antique shop so i'm gonna have a look at those and then we're gonna go a walk up the hill and see if we can get some better views of um northamptonshire then i'm heading over to a motorhome place because i've got a gas leak stop it marvin i can see you i can see you and i can hear you look at that face she's like what why why are we not going it's uh, she's such a moody dog um so yes i've got a gas leak that um hopefully can get fixed i've been turned away from one place already because apparently because of lockdown they're not able to have anybody come in they don't offer a mobile facility so um yes yeah, gonna be challenging i hope to god that everything's gonna be okay and they say to me yeah no problem we can get that sorted for you and um bob's your uncle just don't know um at the moment i slept with no gas last night no hookup very cold <laughs> very cold and um yeah let's see how to, the day pans out um i'm gonna try and do a recovery when i get to my mum's because i'll have hookup hopefully providing we can find out who this car belongs to and get them to move hopefully um if not, I'm going to have to try and find elsewhere because I've got to have power. Um, it's so challenging. <laughs> it really is. But today, uh, last night, fantastic. People, amazing. Looking forward to this walk and um, seeing what today brings. <laughs> hey, folks. Just to let you know, my box of beers has arrived. I've just been having a look at them. I've got Goose 312 Urban White Ale is in the box. I've got another one. Let me just find the last one that I've just looked at because I'm really excited for this. Um, it's a Session IPA. Oh no, this is, I've not looked at this one yet. What's this one? Um, registered by the Vegan Society. That's interesting. So this is a Session IPA called Sorcery from, uh, where is it from? Huddersfield, that one. It's this one. This one I'm excited about. This one here. 24-7 session IPA from Roosters Brewing Company. Um, it's going to be lemon, tangerine and gooseberry. I'm hoping this isn't kind of like the same similar taste as the most where it's just a powerful citrus bl uh, blast in your face. Um, but hopefully this one uh, is really got my taste buds tickled. And... Is it this one as well? Uh, tr love a tropical. You've got to love a tropical. Uh, Hemisphere Session IPA by Four Poor. Four Poor? Four Poor? Uh, that one's interesting. Looking forward to that one. And then, and then of course, I've got some fantastic, I love, 
I love Belgian beers. We've got two well-known be Belgian beers. We've got Leffy, uh, which I'm excited about. And um, that's not Leffy. Where's the Leffy? Gosh, it's just so much in here. Oh, I've got another session IPA, AMPM by Thornbridge. Uh, yes, this is going to be uh, tropical fruit flavours with passion fruit, papaya and guava. Um, this will be something that's going to be different because a lot of the stuff that I've been drinking on the road has always been kind of like the same caramels, toffees, stewed tea, a uh, little bit of fruits, uh, citrus, tropical. So to be able to get other flavours you know, like a passion fruit, papaya. I know it's still tropical, but rather than just a pineapple and grapefruit. So I'm really excited for this Saturday. Make sure you've ordered your box ready and then we'll get them out, have a look at them, open them up, have a sniff, uh, look at the look at the body and then give it a taste and have a great, great knees up on a Saturday with me. Beer tasting. <laughs> Good evening. I've just finished doing my beer tasting session uh, on live on YouTube, which was brilliant. I've got, um, I have a winner and I have a loser. Uh, and I know I don't like normally doing this, but this one I've got to. I am slightly squiffy right now. Uh, <laughs> brilliantly squiffy, pleasantly squiffy happy days so the winner good morning it is day uh it's day 33 wow um what's am i into like i'm into like the fifth week or something yeah gosh it's been a while i'm uh, a little bit tired from last night's live stream it was my first um live tasting session with me uh so much fun really so much fun i didn't have many viewers live viewers but i'm hoping the reruns will be funny uh, <laughs> uh one of the drinks was just so awful really awful uh it was like some like um you know the car fresheners the pine ones it's like somebody just spewed that up in my mouth it was uh, so horrible uh i'm currently on a farm i'm on a farm now for lockdown i'm here for two weeks um i then really ideally want to go back to the bull um because i really want to do something for them um i feel really really bad that i lost all the footage um and i just don't want to feel i don't want them to think that you know, it was for nothing type thing because I do, um, I do, I really, I love the fact that they went out of their way to help me and, and then I, I buggered all up the, the footage up. It was just unbelievable. So I definitely want to go back there. Um, I did all my washing at my mum's, which is brilliant. I know I've got my little washing machine, which is ideal for smalls. But for bedding and stuff like that, I am thinking maybe I should invest in getting my own little washing machine. I've seen them with the spin action that will do bedding. My only concern is a lot of them don't last very long. They say that they last up to about, you know, a couple of months and they break. So maybe, you know, the money that it's like 90 quid. Do people pay 90 pound a year for um, for laundrettes? Let me know. I'd like to know that if they pay that. Uh what else has happened? Anything bad? That, oh, yes. I thought, I think my battery is on its way out. Sure, I heard crackles and then the smell of eggs. And I know from past experience that that is a battery on its way out. So we'll have to find out. I'll have to get somebody to check that for me. I'm not really going anywhere for the next two weeks. Um. So, you know, we'll wait till... Wait till lockdown is over and then I can go to um, Halfords and get that looked at. Because knowing my luck, it, the van will explode. <laughs> what have I got this week? So I'm splitting the videos to live feeds. So Wednesday live video, uh, Wednesday video, Saturday live feed. And so it's a tasting session. We've definitely got three, uh, two more coming up. 
and then the next one the last one i'm gonna have to go out and get something because i've got a box of 12 that we were going to do three um and last night we ended up doing four so um yeah I, i'm feeling a bit sore today um but uh yeah happy days happy days uh i'll let you know how the rest of the week goes because I hey folks <laughs> I'm just walking the dog up the road and look, I can't even see up the road. It's like scary. It's just starting to rain. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey all, day 34. It's the evening now. Um, what have I been doing today? I've been organising some stuff ready i've been tidying up a little bit as well because i've got so much stuff out, out and about that i just don't need i'm trying to downsize because um i'm making up a i'm making up a bucket a bucket i'm making up a, a box full of stuff that i just don't need so i've got boots i've got jumpers i've got uh, jeans and it's weird because there was a lady that i was talking to just before i moved out into come on now into the van and um i said how do you know what sort of stuff that you need and she says just take what you want and you'll find out as you progress in the next few months the stuff that you don't need and um yeah i'm beginning to do that um i've got loads of i've got loads of um bowls and plates don't use them i've not used them for all this time that i've been here um i've got a whole cupboard of stuff that don't really need uh my wardrobe is full don't need half that stuff um i've got stuff in my top box on the boot on the on the roof sorry don't need some of that stuff um it's amazing to actually know that you look around and you just think i don't need that i don't need that i don't know why i've got that i don't need i don't need half of these things um so yeah so i've been doing that I'm getting ready to push the coach and horses on Wednesday. I've put a call out looking for somebody to give me a hand doing some social media stuff and to help me grow my YouTube. Um, I'm thinking about doing some adverts on Google um, to help the YouTube channel. And um, yeah, it's great. It's really foggy here, like seriously foggy. I uh, couldn't see where I was going uh, for our walk earlier. But um, yeah, I'm happy. I spoke to my daughter today and she's telling me about all the things that she's getting up to and um, it's lovely, it's nice, I'm happy, really happy. I did a call out, not I did a call out, but I posted my story up on Google, Let's edit that, I put my, I put a feed up on one of the Facebook groups about why I'm here, my story about Colin and things and it was really nice to get the response that I got just saying come on then come on then just talking about you know the solidarity that motorhome what is it talk to me then about the solidarity that you'll find from motorhome groups which is really really great and um, tell me then what's the problem talk to me So, um, what? what? Tell me, what's the problem? What are you telling me? Did you just burp? I go like this. Is she gonna bark at me? What is it? She knows she's not allowed on the table. Mm you're not allowed on the table I, don't know what else. I think it's just because I'm ignoring her you see if I ignore her she barks at me tell me what's the problem what do you want what do you want you've just come from outside you've just dried off you're nice and dry now what more do you want? She's 
scratching at the fridge. That's, that's the bin, greedy guts. You can't eat any more food. No more food for Marvin. You got the pour, your pourers on the table, Marvin. Get off the table. No. Not allowed on the table. That's the fridge. You're not not very clever, are you? Can't remember where I was at now. I'm just really happy. I'm happy. I'm. It's. I'm. I do think I am thinking of calling a lot. Calling a lot more than usual. But it's just more like all the good things. You know, the things he's missing out on that I know he would really like. I know everybody's slightly concerned now I'm on my own in lockdown, but I've got loads to do. I've got loads to do. And I'm, I'm just enjoying being, enjoying simple things. Fog's doing my head in because I want to get out and about and walk a lot, but... I just don't like not being able to see ahead of me. <laughs> I don't don't like not being able to see where I'm going. Don't like um, worried that I'm going to fall down a cliff or something. So other than that, it's all good. Don't forget, folks, to subscribe to the channel to watch more and the pub tour. Thanks for watching.